Hi there, everybody. Uh, Wilmer here. I'm at on location at David Garlick's house in South Connellsville, Pennsylvania. And we're at his magnificent layout here. And uh, I thought we'd do a little interview with him, and then I'll show you some trains. So without further ado, I'm going to swing around here and say hi to Mr. Garlick. How you doing, Mr. Garlick? Okay, you. Um, how long have you been into uh, the... We heard a beep there. Uh, how long have you been uh, doing this? Doing trains. Trains, yeah. What, I've been like uh, 11 or 12 years old or something So for like quite that. a while, huh? Yeah, my first train was a Marks tin plate. And then I got this HO, Rebel HO train here. Behind, well, you can't see it now. We'll see it after a bit. Right. And uh, I've been messing with them ever since. All righty. And uh, you got, uh, I know you got a big HO layout here. Um, and you, you also are a, have a D Digitrax DCC system. And, and you also have a computer hooked up to it. And what was, what did you say the name of your program was? Railroad and Company. You said it was from England. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a pretty unique uh, setup here. Uh, uh, he uses cardboard for his structure, uh, his road bed and his structure, and the only uh, wood that he has is on the basic bench work itself, which makes it quite unique. So I think you're in for a real treat when we uh, start looking at the uh, layout. Uh, could you tell me about uh, what place and era you kind of model? Oh, 1950s. 1950s? Yeah, early 1950s and... Appalachia. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Appalachia, yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Well, I think without further ado, if you, unless you have something that you would like to add or anything like that, I think we got to go on and look at your train, huh? Okay, no problem. Sounds good. Okay. We're going to start looking at the railroad here, and the name of his railroad is Dave's Terrarium and Menasha Railroad. And uh, we're going to start out in Menasha, and he said he named it that because they make cardboard. <laughs> the company Menasha. So we're going to start off, and you can see here. Try to take this as slow as I can. He has a nice round house here. Some nice buildings. If you look here, you can see how he uses the cardboard by making like little beams, I-beam or, well, they're not really I-beams, they're more like a T-beam. But it's really strong. And you don't got the mess. Isn't that right, Dave? Yep. Yep, don't like that. That, the... that area there, it goes up another four inches. There's to be a coal mine up on the top, oh. if it ever gets done. Oh, I'm sure you'll get it done. About where them houses are there. Mm-hmm. So you're going to put a coal mine in over there. Yeah, and then the rest of it will be like town, you know. Right. As you can see, he still has a, he's still under construction. <laughs> the trees are just, they're stored there for right now, you know. Okay. Over here in the little town that you made there. And since I was here the last time, I was here 
for train day, if you go into my playlist, you'll see that he was uh, part of the train day affairs. And I had some film of his layout. And, it, and it, he's really made some changes since I've been here last. It's really coming along. Yeah, that train there, that was my first HO train. This was his first HO train right there. 1957. 1957. <laughs> wow. When you're looking at the uh, rolling stock coming through here, you'll see a lot of Tyco cars. Dave has told me he really has likes the Tyco cars. I like them myself. I see a few that I have. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna got enough of this, and I think we're gonna move on down. We come over and it makes a cross over here and you can see Dave's work area. This is his, you're his grandson? Yes. Okay, and, and what's your name? John. John, okay, John. He's helps Grandpa out a lot. I know what that's all about. We're gonna come back over here, catch this train as it comes through here. And uh, we got a nice little tunnel area here. And Dave told me as they go through the tunnel, they come to Dairyman. Dairyman. Yeah. yeah, this was a hill, <coughs> and the tracks come through, and they went over to Hill City, and then down to, and down to uh, uh, Gaslight, but... Now they've put a cut in, and they've cut that off, and they no longer go over and back through. So, All right. It was a change we made. Well, what a nice change it is. I see you still have that picture there that you said you're going to build one of these days. Yeah. We're going to come over here into Dairyman. I'm trying to move this as slow as I can there, folks. So I don't I want you to see. He, he also said they just he just now stuck the uh the switch lights in. You'll see them from time to time through here. He got them in since the last time I was here. This is really not bad, huh? We're moving on down. How big? How, how big uh, is your layout? Do you know the? Uh, it's right close sixty feet long, and uh, that end there is eleven feet by seven. So I know that building. That's the Apollo. Yep, an Apollo. They're going to tear. It, they're trying to tear it down. Yeah, that's a shame. See, we put all the signals in. Now, this is this is the part we're going to work on between now and train day. We're going to put a bridge in back there and some bridges here. And some bridges, right? Right in this area. All right. Yeah. Because that's a valley, you mm -hmm. know. I see you got a stockyard down here. Yeah, someday it'll be permanent. Mm. You're on your way there. It's looking pretty close to permanent there. It's got a nice little. It's an old mining village. Back yep. In there. A patch. Yep. A patch. Most of his buildings are either plastic or cardstock. Or cardstock. Yeah. Yep. He has a lot of cardstock buildings. Yep. 
pretty nice too. Now Roy Hardwick, our buddy, we're going, I'm going to show you something here that would interest you. Look at that. Isn't that brew beautiful? I know you like them silos. Little staging yard here. We'll work our way up. I'll come around on the other side there. It's got a lot of beautiful stuff. A lot of nice rolling stock. A lot of nice engines. Who painted your your backdrops? My daughter. Yeah, I seen her. She's hiding. She don't. <laughs> she don't want in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> she did There's the artist. We got her in there. <laughs> you did a wonderful job. That's beautiful. Yes, I is. might I might farm you out yeah. at my house. <laughs> Wow, this. When you stand here and you start filming it, you start to really notice a whole lot of things that you didn't see <laughs> when you quickly look at it. Come back over here. Signals here is what we put in this last. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah. Get them See. from Amazon or? Oh, I don't know where I got them. I just have a bunch of are them. They, are, are they LED? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the top, well, they was just single target, three aspect, and I put the bottom one on. Close up here. Yeah. Well, I meant to say there was three aspect on the top, and then I put the target on the bottom. Yeah. But Trying to get a. I lost it. There it is. Yeah, it, it just went off. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. Still. Now these T's. That's what I call them T's. We just. You know, we kind of tested these. These will hold at least 30 pounds, each one of them. So it's no problem with it holding the layout, you know. Yeah. 30 pounds Yeah. with cardboard. Yep. Hear that, folks? 30 pound. Let me get this deck down so we can start going back to what I missed here. I'm going to move down here. I want you to see this structure that he's saying he's got here. Hoping to get a good look. I should. Someday I'll have a good camera with some lighting. But we'll do the best we can here with the, the cell phone here. Pretty interesting, huh? I think so.
There we go. Well, here's the other side, Roy. Well, there you go, Randy from RDNT. I know you'd I told you about this this man's layout a while back when I, you said about using cardboard. Now you get a good look at what you can do with cardboard. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Alright folks, I'm going to get off this camera here. And I'm going to run some trains with Mr. Garlic. One more thing here. We got... This, this is a... What, I don't much know much else what to tell you about it. I mean, it's like... Now that's made out of cardstock? Yeah. This is a replica of the house that I'm standing in right now. And believe me, folks, when I tell you that, that this is a good replica. <laughs> this is exactly what his house looks like. Pretty amazing. He even got the, the grade of the yard and everything in it. I built that before I built the house. You <laughs> pretty amazing. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Mr. Garlic, for inviting me to your home well. and let me film. There you go. truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me the touch of your hand says you can